Hello everybody. Today I will discuss Auger Electron Spectroscopy. Auger Electron Spectroscopy is one of the most important technique that is being used in catalysis most widely. So let's see what Auger Electron Spectroscopy is and what is elect Auger effect and how the spectra is recorded for Auger Electron Spectroscopy. Okay. So first let's see introduction. Auger electron spectroscopy is a widely used technique to investigate composition of surfaces of solids. This was first discovered in 1923 by Lise Mitner and later independently discovered once again in 1925 by Pierre Auger. It can also be used for the study of oxidation catalysis, chemistry of fractured interfaces and grain boundaries. So this is very brief introduction of Auger Electron Spectroscopy. Now we will see the most important part of this effect. Okay. See what happens in Auger effect or you can say in Auger Electron Spectroscopy. Okay. So I will tell you first of all electromagnetic radiation you can see here electromagnetic radiation falls onto the core electron of that particular material or you can say metal or you can say catalyst so core electron get excited because of the excitation this electron gets ejected in the form of photo electron this is known as photo emission or you can say photo ejection because of this photo emission or photo ejection one hole in the core cell is created you can see here so this is k cell first cell is k okay so and this is second cell l cell l can be divided into l1 l2 l3 like that here it has been divided you can see so to fill this hole electron from higher level fall to the hole to fill this this uh, hole so what happens during the falling of the electron from higher level energy is emitted in the form of radiation okay that radiation further excites another electron in the same subcell or in the other subcell to get excited so what happens when the one this electron f you know falls into this hole some energy in the form of radiation you know emitted this energy you know excites another electron to get ejected okay so this electron is known as Auger electron and this phenomena of ejection of this electron is known as Auger effect so you can see in the Auger effect there is involvement of three electrons first electron this means first ejection of photo electron second falling of the this electron to fill this hole third ejection of second electron this second ejected electron is known as auger electron and this is known as Auger effect so you saw in the Auger effect there is the involvement of three electrons okay so first electron was uh, so you can write this uh, ejection or you can say this effect or this transition in the form of you know some very you know in the form of symbols so if first electron was ejected from the k cell so first we will write k second electron fell from this level l3 so we will write l3 okay and this again this electron Auger electron was ejected from the l3 so again we will write l so in this way you can write the uh, this 
transition in the form of these symbols okay now the you know kinetic energy of Auger electron you know this can be written in the form of uh, one formula I will write here you can say kinetic energy of Auger electron kinetic energy can be written as this H nu that energy was gained by photon minus EC energy of energy to overcome that uh, binding energy this is called EC or this can be called binding energy also minus work function of that particular instrument where this is being recorded or you can say this is uh, you know this is a barrier this must be you know you know overcome so this is a form of binding energy okay EC okay so this is the formula for you know kinetic energy of Auger electron all right now let's see how the Auger spectra looks like see this is the Auger spectra here you can see one very you know sharp peak this sharp peak is because of the photo uh, electron or you can say this is an XPS peak okay here this peak is you know Auger electron peak or you simply you can say Auger peak they have very characteristic features Auger peaks are always broader they are you know unsymmetrical and they are in the groups you can see one two three why this is like that you know Auger effect is a three electron phenomena here you can say first electron second electron and third electron so Auger effect is a three electron phenomena so this is how Auger spectra looks like on this axis there is kinetic energy on this axis there is intensity okay now we will see some other properties of this uh, Auger spectra see when we record Auger spectra we have to choose the metal carefully because uh, yield per cell vacancy for the Auger decreases when we move to higher atomic number here you can see as you move to the higher atomic numbers Auger yield is decreasing so we have to choose carefully the particular metal okay so you can see Auger yield is decreasing and X-ray yield is increasing so you have to choose very carefully okay so this is all about Auger electron spectroscopy this was very short video later I will be uploading some uh, very detailed video of x-ray absorption spectroscopy extended absorption spectroscopy so keep watching thank you so much for watching if you are really liking the video you can subscribe the channel and you can share you can like the video thank you so much for watching bye bye